the creative urge is an impulse that a great many people find irresistible. Satisfying this desire to be creative has led men and women down diverse and often curious paths of artistic endeavour. One such man, Errol Davis of the Sydney suburb of Taramurra, satisfies his creative needs in ways quite removed from the mainstream of today's art world. Errol Davis has developed the unusual art of creating pictures with coloured wool. He's tried his hand at more conventional painting with brushes, but it's with wool that his urge to create is truly satisfied. This is his merino wool study of Sydney Harbour and the city. Errol Davis was inspired by this artistic technique during a visit to Czechoslovakia six years ago, when his eye was attracted by what appeared to be tapestries at an exhibition. However, they were actually pictures created from carded wool in various colours and then sewn down by 1,000 needles in an industrial sewing machine. He says it's quite an old art form in some parts of southern Europe and is known as art protis. Despite the industrialised finish that his works demand, Errol Davis insists that they're paintings, not tapestries. Although he does the creative part in Sydney, the works have to be taken to Czechoslovakia for sewing to their linen backing sheet. Transporting the works isn't a problem. They're light and can be rolled up without damaging the composition in any way. Since he began working with wool, Errol Davis has found that a wide range of subtle effects can be achieved through the use of various types of wool. He has also experimented with the use of synthetic fibres, cotton and linen, net, lace and even paper bark to obtain a greater variety of textures and colours. In Czechoslovakia, wall hangings made with this technique feature decorative designs that are almost abstract art. Errol Davis regards himself as a pioneer of applying the technique to what he calls pictorial work, scenery, animals and flowers. His work is little known in Australia, but has attracted big crowds at exhibitions in England and West Germany. The rows of stitches that bind the wool and linen backing together are obvious only when the work is looked at closely. From a normal viewing distance, the stitches become part of the picture. The wool used in such works is moth-proofed, and Errol Davis says that with reasonable care, they should endure for as long as any tapestry. The tinsel he sometimes uses gives the wool art an instant but subtle glitter. When he's satisfied with a section of the work, the artist irons it. This consolidates the layers of wool into a dense mass. When synthetics are incorporated, the iron must not be too hot or they would melt. By profession, Errol Davis is an engineer, but much of his life has been devoted to making scale models for architects, designers and developers. One of his most complex models, completed recently, was a recreation of Rome in the 4th century AD. It was made after intensive research for the Classics Department of the Australian National University in Canberra, where it's on permanent display. Errol Davis is also a sculptor, and the creative urge in this direction is also satisfied by working with unconventional materials, such as fiberglass. He uses moulds, but has also devised a way of working with fiberglass as a freestanding material. This work was inspired by a seashell, and Errol Davis says much of his sculpture reflects nature. This work was inspired by mountains reaching into the clouds. Errol Davis has also tried his hand at making jewellery and weaving, but it's with wool that he's had some of his happiest creative experiences. 
he says he's still exploring the artistic potential of the medium. Uh, it has many more facets than conventional wet or pigment colors and one can play with uh, wool uh, to one's heart's content uh, without having to worry about it drying it goes on dry it's multi-dimensional so one can apply layer upon layer as you see this one's made up of layers of wool not necessarily complete layers but little pieces that are put together one can, once they're down on the picture, contemplate them. If you don't like them, you can take them off again. If you've taken them off and you want to put them back, put them back again. That's impossible to do with conventional painting. Of course, the general public who buy for capital appreciation don't, are not terribly interested in it. But I think, uh, most generally, people like this work. They're very interested in this work. And I find that amongst artists, particularly young people, they're interested in exploiting this new medium of expression, of self-expression. Of course, too, there's another advantage, too, a very important advantage over conventional brush painting. Uh, on, in, with this kind of medium, several people can work, work on the same picture. Uh, it, it can be done by several people all building up the same picture as a team. And this can be a very good, intimate relationship amongst the people in the team. I think that's an advantage which people should, which artists should try out themselves and see how wonderful it is.